Hello my fellow classmates and my dear teacher. Today I'm going to be going into details on energy resources, more specifically on the different types of energy resources and the factors that should be taken into consideration while comparing them and the relationship between different energy resources and the sun. We can harvest solar energy by using solar cells and solar panels. And at first, you might think that the two of them are the same, but they're two totally different things. Solar cells are devices that convert light energy directly into electrical energy. The sun's rays shine on a large array of solar cells, also known as photocells, and the energy of the rays is absorbed and electricity is produced. Solar panels, on the other hand, do not generate electricity, but rather heat up water. The sun's rays fall on a large solar panel, on the roof of a house for example. This absorbs the energy of the rays and water inside the panel heats up, and this provides hot water. Now the hot water could be either used directly or pumped around the house through radiators to provide a cheap form of central heating. Wind is produced as a result of giant convection currents in the Earth's atmosphere, which are driven by the heat energy from the sun. This is where the sun heats up some parts of the atmosphere more than the others, which results in the air heating up and expanding and starting to move around. There are many technologies for extracting energy from the wind. The traditional method uses windmills for grinding and pumping, while the modern method uses wind turbines that can generate electricity. Wind turbines use the wind to drive turbines directly. They have huge blades mounted on a tall tower. The blades are connected to a cell or housing, which contains gears linked to a generator. As the wind blows, it transfers some of its kinetic energy to the blades, which turn and drive the generator, which produces electricity. Several wind turbines may be grouped together in windy locations to form a wind farm. Biomass energy is generated from decaying plants or animal waste. It can also be organic material which is burnt to provide energy. Fossil fuels, like coal, oil, and gas, are actually hydrocarbons that were formed millions of years ago from the remains of dead organisms. Coal was formed from dead trees and other plant materials, while oil and gas were formed from dead marine organisms. And after millions of years underground, the compounds that make up those organisms and plants turn into fossil fuels. Now, the fossil fuels are burnt to heat water. And when the fossil fuels' many hydrocarbon bonds are broken, that is, when they're burnt, they release large amounts of energy. The steam from the water then increases in pressure, forcing a turbine to spin, and this generates electricity. Nuclear power is a very demanding technology that requires strict controls because of the serious amount of damage that can be caused by an accident. The nuclear fuels used in nuclear power stations release energy through nuclear reactions rather than chemical reactions. The fuels used in a nuclear power station must be radioactive and that's why the main fuels used are uranium and plutonium, because they're radioactive. Inside a nuclear reactor, the radioactive decay is sped up so that the energy they store is released much more quickly. This is the process of nuclear fission. Like the wind, water can be used to drive turbines directly to generate electricity. And there are several ways in which water can be used for this cause. These include water in the form of waves and falling water. The water in the sea rises and falls because of the waves on the surface. Most of the energy of wind is given up to the sea as waves are formed by friction between wind and water. Wave machines or turbines use this up and down motion of the waves to drive electricity generators. Hydroelectric power stations, on the other hand, use the kinetic energy of moving water. The water usually comes from behind a dam built across a river valley. When the water is released, it runs the turbines which make the generators spin. Hot rocks can be found at a shallow depth below the Earth's surface. These rocks are hot because of the presence of radioactive material inside the Earth. 
The use of those rocks to generate electricity is called geothermal energy. To make use of this energy, deep wells can be driven down to the hot rocks where cold water is pumped down. The water runs through the cracks into the rocks where it boils. High pressure steam returns to the surface where it can be used to turn turbines which generate electricity.